Business and Leadership Academy. And I'm out here in New York on location and I'm sitting here with uh, the, the filmmaker, director, actor, producer, um, personal trainer, Demarai Denaran from our Denaran Films. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good. All right, good. nice to be here with you today. Um, you know, it's cold New York weather. Mm -hmm. You know, thanks for coming out. So just um, tell us about yourself, what you do. I know you wear so many hats. Yeah, a, a lot of hats that, you know, that keeps, keeps me real busy and, and up late. So I'm um, originally from um, London, I'm born and raised in London, South London, Brixton. Been, oh, been living in the United States, uh, New York, since 96. So I'm a New Yorker now, you know. <laughs> I've actually spent more, most of my life in New York than in London now. So um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a New Yorker. So I'm a filmmaker, writer, um, many, many hats I, I wear. And um, I, decided, I decided back in 2009 that I was just going to concentrate on film and do movies. And one of the reasons for doing movies is because I wanted to be able to control the images that we see of ourselves on the screen. You know, and it's a way for me to talk to people and to, you know, and to, and to open up people's eyes to certain things that they um, might not be aware of, you know, just giving people different perspectives of things. So um, I've done like two full feature movies, one being the Reserve Notes, the other one being the Diary of a Bad Man, which won many awards. Um, and now I'm doing my third feature, which is um, the it's called The uh, Making of a Slave, which is um, showing the reverse roles, meaning that you have uh, African or uh, black African uh, slave owners and white sl white slaves and um, one of the reasons again is to take a look at it from a different perspective and it has the backdrop of the Willie Lynch a lot of people are not familiar with Willie, Willie Lynch neither black people and um, I haven't met too many I haven't met too many uh, any white people that I've um, actually asked about it who, are, who actually know about Willie Lynch you know right. so it's very important this uh, project because again, it's going to open up the eyes to, um, of the viewer to a different perspective on how people were enslaved. Once you watch this movie, it's going to show you how, not just the brutality, but the psychological part of slavery, which is still happening today. So we're making this slave movie with the backdrop of Willie Lynch and the manifestation of Willie Lynch, which is going on right now, you know. Okay. Now, how would you say it's taking place today? Today, because like Willie Lynch's thing was to be able to take people's uh, differences and use it to separate them, you know, and to use it to make people to be, be against uh, each other. And that's happens to happen today. Like you have people, you have Muslims against Christians, you have black against white, you have male against female. So in every facet of the society of society today, we see that there's there's conflict, there's a division between human beings. And we have more in common as human beings than we have differences, but we are using the differences to uh, separate separate ourselves. So a lot of people when they see this trailer, the making of a slave, some people can get and they see what it's, it's about, and then others they don't see it and they think, oh, it's, this is conflict, oh, this is racism, and it's like, it's not. What this movie will do also is really bring out the racism in you. Oh, wow. it, because if, if, if whoever sees it that way is really telling them themselves, they're really, they're, they're really going to tell them themselves if they think it's about uh, racism or it's about hate. It's not about that. But again, you can't dictate how someone's going to really perceive something because, you know, perception really is... It's governed by what is in your head. Okay. So I've, I'll perceive things according to what, how I see things, according to the traumas that I've been through, according to my beliefs. So this is what this movie will bring, bring out. So we see all the conflict going on. on the, if you look at America, there's just conflict. Right. You know, you, you're switching the news and the news promotes conflict. But there's not that much conflict really going on around the world, but that's what it's promoted. And we know like in, in the movie, in the, um, the trailer, it says, what is more powerful than trust? The lady says love. He says no, distrust. Distrust is more powerful than 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 trust because I can I can do 9900 um, 999 things right, right, and tell the truth, right. And the one moment, the one minute I tell one lie, everything else before that that I did good right. is forgotten. 
so we dwell on the negative, and that's what, and that's what the, uh, and that's what the media pushes is the negativity, and that's what people lat latch onto is the negativity. But there's a lot of positive that's going on. Wow, wow, you know? that's powerful. That's powerful. Now, how did you get into filmmaking? Um, since the age of ten, I've always been behind the camera, so I've always been, I've always been a creative person, and. Since then, I've always had a camera in my hand, like it was a camcorder. So I always, I was always documenting things, and it wasn't until like 2009, like I said, when I decided that I'm going to do film. And the reason I did film because it kind of, it puts some of my talents all under one roof. Because I'm, uh, I'm, there's many things that I can do, and having like a lot of talents is actually I see it as a curse and not so much as a gift because it causes you to do so many things and never achieve anything because you begin to move like, like a snail because you try to do everything but with film I can do everything under there like I like to I, I can write you know I can tell stories you know I have this this creative I have this creative side of me right I like to teach you right so I can do all of that in the in, under the um, umbrella for film so that's why I really got into into film okay great now for a young person that's looking to get into film what advice would you give them I'll tell them like Pick up a camera, a camcorder. It doesn't matter if it costs like 150. I got, I got a camcorder at home. Um, it cost me like 150, 165 dollars. I use it sometimes to document stuff. But I have a, I have an assistant, um, uh, Shanae, a, a young female, and she, um, I've been training her like for the, for since uh, June. I've been training her, and she's like my clone. And I gave her that camcorder, and I said, hey, take that, use that. And it's not the best, but it's about telling stories. And she's been able to use that camcorder and do some amazing work with it. Because it's all about it's all about angles and understanding angles and framing. So it doesn't matter the camera. It just it just matters how you, your art, how you can frame that image and tell a story. Content is king and queen. You know, like and any film upcoming filmmaker, right? Don't wait. Don't wait for someone to give you a script. Write it yourself. If you're if you're a filmmaker and a writer, you win. You'll put your you'll put yourself where you need to be. You don't have to wait in, on anybody. And the same thing goes with actors today. It's like you have many people who want to act. Even if you're a filmmaker, get in front of the, in, in front of the camera and and act because that's another way to, to uh, get the eyes on you. Right. So you can write. You make yourself a character in that in that um, project and be in front of the camera. So in this day and time, you have so much um, at your fingertips to make it easier. 20 years ago, this way it wasn't so easy. The cameras wasn't so affordable to give, and the cameras that can give you an amazing footage, it wasn't affordable. So I always go, I'm, 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 from, I'm Nigerian, so I, was, I always turn to Nollywood as an example. <laughs> Nollywood, they started with camcorders. They had no film school training. And sometimes you can look at their work and you'll be like, oh, this is terrible, right? But they still built an audience and now Nollywood is coming and coming up and being a force to be reckoned with. And Nollywood still has growth, but they get, they're gonna get there very, very soon. So over here in America, we have the same ability to do the same thing, is that create your own. There's nothing, there's nothing really holding you back. The only thing that's gonna hold you back is you. But that creativity and that content is king. Oh wow, okay. Now, what advice would you give like a 16-year-old version of yourself? A 16-year-old version? Oh, a 16-year-old version of myself? Right. I, would, I would say, hold on, sir, right? A 16-year-old version of myself, I would tell them like, get into a financial education, learn <laughs> financial education. <laughs> because as artists, right, like as artists, as, uh, you're always looking there. Artists, the, the problem artists have is that they're trying to, they're trying to make money on your talent. You can make money on your talent, but it becomes hard. And then a lot of times you may have to compromise for your talent. So as a as a 16 year old, I would say like learn financial education because if you're gonna be if you're gonna be an artist or any 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 level of life, it will put you in a better position to do what you want to do. Right. Without having to come up compromise for anybody. So, 16 years old, I've been, I've been like, work, take that money, invest, get some stocks, get some real estate. That's what I would tell, tell, tell myself. It's like, right. and the world is yours after that. Right. Now I know we, we've had like several conversations, and I know that early on when you started, yeah. you know, the, the budget wasn't there. Yeah. You know, but how, how were you able to make it happen regardless of, of the, 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 the lack of finances? Yeah, I, I guess there's a part of me that is still a child, like, you know that child? No, when you was a child, you thought you were Spider-Man. You thought, you actually thought, like, you 
could fly and stuff. Like there was everything was possible. You know, a child is, has optimism until adults try then begin to burn that fire. So I, I would say I still have that. I still have that child like mine. So I think all things are possible. So even if you tell me no, I'm like, nah, there gotta be a way. There has to be a way. So I would that's that's really what drives me into getting it done. And I I'll, I'll look for a way to get it done. And I'll, the subconscious mind is gonna find a way. If you're looking for a way, the subconscious mind will find it. It might not be exactly what you want, but it will find a way. You just have to have that want. Once you have that want, the right people and the right situations come together. So even like with my movie sometimes, I might not be able to afford a certain location and I might get it for cheap or I might get it for nothing. Or someone says, hey, you know, my friend has this, uh, this uh, building, you can use it for, for, for $150. So where there's a will, there, there is a way, Right. you know. All right, cool. All right, well, you know, thanks for, you know, for taking the time out to speak with us today. Any any thoughts you want you'd like to share or um yeah, I just want, you know, like if this if this comes out before my uh, Indiegogo campaign is over, go check out the uh, the make go to Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign and put in the making of a slave and, you know, contribute uh, financially to it. There's uh, rewards. You're basically you're basically buying the movie before it comes out, so you'll get the movie. Um, you get your name in the credits. You can get to come on set. You can be a character. You can be have a walk-on role. There's different perks for different amounts that you can give and make this movie happen. Because this movie is really for everybody, regardless of skin color, and it's it's a it's an eye opener for everybody. Okay. Now you mentioned you have two other films that yeah. you've done. Okay. Where, I have, where can people get find those at? Okay, you can find the first one is, is Reserve Notes. That's on um on I put it on YouTube. So that's a uh, Reserve Notes. You can find it under my um YouTube page, Danny Rand Films, and the Diary of a Bad Man. The Diary of the a Bad Man. You can go to Amazon. Uh, you can go to Amazon and purchase it there or rent it. And Vimeo also has it on there. Okay. And where can people find you on your social? Well, what's your social media link? Oh, yeah, my social media li links is my um, film name, Dan Danny Ram Films. So that's D D E N I R A N Films dot uh, com. My website and Twitter's the same, Instagram's the same, Facebook's the same. All right, great. Yeah. Again, thanks a lot, man. Thank and you. you know, we look forward to the all the products you have yeah. coming up. Uh -huh. All right. All right. All right. Have a good one. Cool. Peace. Peace.